Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you'll see are from this deck. So Sagittarius, um, I am sticking with this reading for you, for your sign, but I have this very... Uh, it's like this big feeling from the message that this is a collective message. This is a collective reading. I'm just not labeling it as a collective reading because I feel like this could be a, a very individual, a very um, private experience for you. So whomever has to find this message, whomever wants to... Uh, engage in this as a collective maybe even if you don't have you know Sagittarius as a strong sign in your birth chart just consider that because I feel like Sagittarius right now is embodying like a message that is meant for the collective and you know if you've been here long enough you know that all of my messages all of my readings for the signs I consider them to be for the entire collective so just take it as fits best for you, as it serves you best. So let's begin with the message. We're beginning with the Wheel of Fortune. And what I heard from this Wheel of Fortune, it felt like I was opening a scroll, a scroll that was hidden in time. So it's kind of like uh, this message in a bottle type of vibe, something that has been um, traveling through time and space to get to this moment right now. And it's interesting because Sagittarius is the traveler, right? So maybe we're talking about, you know, traveling through time, but, or through timelines perhaps, but the message was all is right. It's, it's interesting because even though the message is, uh, it feels very regal even, very noble, very um, significant. It's also very simple, right? It's like a, a seed of wisdom that has been implanted in, you know, a very short sentence. And so the sentence was, all is right. And this all is right, because of the concept of time, also embodies the sense of everything is happening in the right time, right? So all is right in the right time, right? So there is this sense that the concept of all, it's interesting because I just found this uh, channel here on YouTube. Uh, it's a new channel. Uh, she's a, a channeler uh, called Elunia, I think it's the name, it's, I think it's how it's pronounced. Um, and she channels various entities and energies and um, masters. And so in one of her uh, channeled messages, she was talking about, well, she was receiving the message uh, from the authors of the Hybalion and they were talking about the concept of all, all is all. And it's interesting because now here for you, Sagittarius in the collective, the message coming in through this message in a bottle that has traveled time and space to get to you is all is right. Because the four of pentacles coming next, what this was showing me is that the foundation has been laid this is what I heard. There is the establishment of a strong foundation, a grounded place, maybe a grounded place to land. Because what I'm seeing, to be honest, is uh, kind of like this um, safe place where you know that your space is granted or your, uh, it's like you can occupy that space, you can occupy that spot um, uninhibited or... Uh, undisturbed but there is like this divine timing at play so it's almost like until this message got here the work has been on the foundation right you Sagittarius has been doing the work it's like what you have it's like what you have focused until now it's like this 
foundation. This has been the work. This has been the focus. Just a second. Sorry. So the focus has been establishing the foundation. And now that that is done, there is this new dawn, this new day that is approaching with the rising sun. So as soon as the sun comes up, because this is what I received from this card, because of the timing, all is right. It's like we will know that all is right when the sun comes up, right? It's like this feeling of um, just refreshment and just um, like being re-energized, right? Maybe we're talking about um, like just renewing your hopes, renewing your joy, renewing your happiness. But because the hard work, the groundwork has been done. And so now your work, let's say, or what you have to do or what, it, what is left for you to do, Sagittarius, is to just wait for the sun to come up. There is this message that all is right. So now that the, it's like the, the groundwork has been uh, established, it's now ready there is this moment, it's almost like the Four of Swords that I'm seeing here. It's like the practical things have been taken care of. And so now you can just enjoy this space, this foundation, and then waiting for the sun to come up because when the sun comes up, this is a signal that it's not just resting. It's not just for you to, you know, have done all of this work and put in, you know, a lot of dedication, a lot of resources, a lot of time into building this foundation. But with the five of pentacles, because you see here how the four is like the establishment of the outline or the borders, the boundaries, um, you know, just the physical things, right? When the physical things are in place, it's like there's going to be this massive rising sun that is going to be significant. And as soon as is um, you know peeking through the horizon, then this is the signal. It's like Sagittarius, you can take your seat. And this is why I feel like even though this has like this very collective meaning to all of it, but it's also a very private experience, is because it's the five, right? The five to me denotes this very private individual experience it's like it's you finding your own integrity you finding your own seat in a way it feels like this groundwork this um foundational um it's like establishment of what is essential for you even here in the physical plane this it's almost like you have been building your own seat so when the time is right because all is right so when the time is right when the sun comes up it's like you will have a seat right because you built it you have built this place for you to occupy so it's a place of integrity it's a place that you feel like you belong in your body you belong in your own seat right it's like here is the seat here it's you occupying it so this is the signal and the moment that you occupy it i feel like there's going to be the sense of uh it's like you know when you enter your body it's almost like that moment when you are waking up from a dream and there is like you know the need for a few seconds to go by right talking about time there is like this waiting for the sun to rise so that you're back in your body so that you can occupy this it's like this vessel again, this physical vessel again. And there is this notion with the tower coming up next. There's this interesting message coming from this tower because I was wondering whether you were already inside of it or you were approaching it. That was my uh, question to the card, right? And what I received for it uh, actually is that this is... It's like in taking your seat, it's like you're going, it's like taking your seat is like taking your integrity with you, right? It's like, this is how you occupy your seat, but it's movable, but, and it's meant to be taken somewhere safe. So I wonder if this is an actual physical place that you're going, like a sacred place, a sacred site, right? Because if you think of, you know, 
these ancient um, old castles or ruins or uh, old churches or temples or you know old stone circles and mountains and whatever this tower represents for you it feels like a landmark again not of this age right maybe not not of this time and space but even if it's um even if it's like this um what i'm here right now it's like unknown destination because from the outside looking in it feels like something that it's similar to what you recognize as a place that you've been before because it's like you're it's like there is this heart resonance and i want to say this five of cups it's like this intense emotional sense of belonging maybe physically you haven't been there but emotionally and maybe if we're talking about you know traveling through time and space it's like you're going back to a significant side where your heart knows that it belonged or it belongs still and now you're just feeling it it's like it's just making you feel like whatever is this place it's like whatever is in there there is no need to fear it there is no need to it's like there is also like this intense pull it's like it's not even a pull it's it's because you know there's not there are only pentacles the major arcana the swords and the the hearts there aren't any wands so it's not something that you're doing because your instinct is telling you to do or it's not something that it's no it's it's not your drive it's not your it's not like you know you have to do this it's not like that it's not like this life or death type of decision it's just like this natural and soft and very um gentle um call right it's like the tower is calling you in and it's telling you it's safe here because if you're bringing your integrity which is your seat right it's like taking over the seat taking this role of self like this integral self you will know because it's almost like there is something also about um i'm thinking about stonehenge right it's like how the sun reaches you know this landmark or this place or this site it's like the rising sun it's not the setting sun it's the rising sun specifically so however you receive this divine time to be in a specific place because also the five of pentacles if you've been here long enough you know that this talks about the x on the map for me right so but it's different than you know just uh drawing down or just defining your uh treasure hunt right it's not defining the location the location is calling you because it's calling your heart right because to me the five of cups talks about dropping into the heart space and this is talking about dropping into your integrity this integrity is your seat and your seat is granted inside the tower because there is some sort of knowingness inside of you inside your heart that makes you feel like you belong there or at least like there is this it's almost like this very emotional recognition of this place right so again there is no need to fear the tower right it's not the traditional meaning at all it's like it's not like you have to keep a distance uh keep a distance from this because it's it's crumbling or it's falling down it's not at all like that it's like this has been waiting for you i feel like right because this message of all is right has been traveling through time and space to get to you right now when the sun is rising in a specific moment where it's going to hit this landmark and you will know that that is sorry that that is your place it's like you're taking your seat and it's almost like you have this vip ticket that is granting you access to this tower and once you get in it's like there is this emotional maybe this emotional cry right the sense of belonging 
And the beautiful thing is that I feel like with this knowingness that is coming from your heart, ending here with this Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords needs a little bit more confirmation, I want to say, or a little bit more um, validation, perhaps. It's different than this knowingness that is beating inside your heart. There's something about the, the location that is like, you want to be more informed about. Maybe you want to know the history of the place. Maybe you want to study more about what is this place or where is it located, like the region and like the history of like the geography, right? Or the cultures or the people, right? It's like there is something about this that it's, it's almost like it instigates you to want to know about it, but not just in an emotional way, right? The fives that are surrounding the tower, they are this, it's like you already know that this is where you belong to. You already know that this it feels like home. I also talk about this tower as home. It's not, it's not a typical home. It's, it's again, it's not... It's not like home as we know in contemporary society. It's not like arriving in a house, right? It's not like that. It's where your soul feels at home. I hope that makes sense. So this is you arriving with integrity, but also with this emotional openness, emotional vulnerability. And as soon as you feel like there is, it's like this, um, the sense of wanting to understand, wanting to read, wanting to learn. It's like there is a lot that you know that you can learn from books, from asking around, from just being there. And I want to say this third option, I feel like it's the one that you're going to receive more information from because the card that is at the bottom of the deck is your own heart. So with this Ace of Cups is doing at the bottom of the deck, which is complementing kind of like this curious mind or this, um, okay, so the thing about the Queen of Swords is that sometimes it comes in with this demanding um, ask, right? And not even an ask, it's like this demand to know, right? But it's not how I'm seeing this. There is this desire to know, There, it's, it's not as harsh or it's not as intense. It's very soft, right? It's very, it's not passionate. It's not overwhelming. It's very clear. It's very peaceful, right? And the more that you want to learn from your mind or from like with your brain, with your intelligence, it's like, yes, you might look around for resources or for um, sources of knowledge about this landmark, but I feel like the biggest and maybe the most reliable source of all is your heart because you have this heart resonance the moment that you step inside, right? So you're, it's like you needed to reach, well, you need to lay the foundation. Well, first of all, you need to receive the message, but while you were waiting for the message, you have been laying the foundation and when you receive the signal to occupy this foundation, to occupy the seat with integrity, you do so. And it's kind of like this natural steps that are unfolding in a way that eventually it leads back to your heart. So it's like your heart is going to tell you the story. Maybe this already started the moment that you picked up this message. As I was saying, it's like, it feels like you're um, unscrolling something that has been traveling through time and space. So it's like this very ancient type of message, right? But something, maybe this is all intuitively, maybe this is all um, psychically, maybe this is all um, sensorially, sensorial based, right? It's not just um, physically seen. It's very, it's, a, it's perception based type of intuitive infor information that is coming through. So the more that you dive into your heart, I feel like the more you're going to learn about this place, but from your own story, right? It's like you're going to tell yourself the story of the place. It's like you're going to remember that perhaps, 
which is so fascinating to me. I wonder what that is. It's almost like you're becoming the storyteller, but it's not like you, it's like you received something that starts to unravel like this whole journey, right? Which is gorgeous. That's the reason why, again, I feel like this could be like such a collective, beautiful message for everyone. But you being the traveler, Sagittarius, I know how much it makes sense uh, for you. So yeah. So I am going to pull more cards for you, Sagittarius, as well as the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find the link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.